beneath our panel, you'll see two individual sections. Now I'm going to discuss both of these at the same time because really this whole bottom section is all related to animation and when you animate with inside of Maya. All right, what we've got at the top is known as the timeline. And this really helps to show you what frame you're actually on at the moment. We can left click and drag within here. So we're able to go from individual frames and actually just scrub through the time and see any animation that we've perhaps worked with. Next to the timeline, we've got all of our playback buttons. So we've got the common kind of play, go to the end, play to next keyframe, playing from next keyframe. So a lot of different feedback when checking out your animation. Also a benefit of having this time slider is when you begin to animate objects, you'll begin to see keyframes actually noted on each individual frame. And it's very useful to quickly refer back just to see where you have placed your keyframes. Beneath the timeline, what we've got is something known as the range slider. Now, the benefit of the range slider gives us the opportunity to adjust the length of our animation. And we can do that in a few different ways. First of all, we've got individual values here. So we've got down here a start time of the animation. And next to it, we've also got one for the start time of playback range. On the other end, we've got the end of the playback range and end of the animation. So there's a relationship there and you can see that at the moment I'm seeing from frame 1 to 24. OK, and that's why in my timeline here I've got frames 1 to 24. But that's also noted within this, which is the sliding section. If I was to left click drag on the end on that cube there, you can see that I'm able to now change the amount of frames that we're able to visualize within our timeline. Or what I could have done is just left click drag in the center and then I can adjust what area of that range of frames from one to 48 I'm able to see. Okay, if I wanted to further extend my animation I can quite easily come in here and say 120 and I can now have 120 frames visualized or if I want I can just pick a certain area of them. Next to the range slider, we've got options to do with character sets and animation layers. We've got the auto keyframe button. And finally, if I select this option at the end, we've got the animation preferences and a quick icon to jump to that window.